It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. The action is only moments away. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. Next to the beautiful San Francisco Bay, 40 miles from where Candlestick Park once stood, we're at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara, California. Hello, everybody. Alongside Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, let's dive right in. What are you looking forward to in this one? Yeah, just about everything, Kate. But these are two such evenly matched teams. You and I know there's going to be two, three, four plays in this game that will likely define the outcome. That is the beauty of the NFL each and every weekend, each and every Thursday and Sunday and Monday night. They come down to a couple plays. Who will they be? What will they be? When will they be? Tune in and watch. Jake Moody now ready to get this one started. And we're off from Levi Stadium. To return this, Marcus Jones. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. So out come the Patriots, ready for their first possession. And they're brought out by someone approaching a decade in the league now, Jacoby Brissett. Jacoby Brissett has seen some adversity in this league. Occasional starting opportunities as well. And he's hung around because he knows how to take care of the football. He can still throw it deep with the best of them, but he's the type of guy you just trust. You trust that he can come in, that he can manage the offense, and he can win a game if needed. Starting on the ground here with Stevenson. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and 10. Job one of so many D tackles in this league is eat up space. Don't get moved off your spot. But the difference makers, they just not only eat the space, they eat those runners too. Second and 10 now. And he doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And it brings up third down. You really want those throws to be like clockwork for your offense. Every team needs to hit passes in that short to intermediate range to effectively move the ball. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. On the shotgun, Brissett. And the 49ers get there and take him down. And the defense comes through to back them up ahead of fourth down. Every defense in this league is going to sign up for a three and out to begin a ball game. But to send them off the field, to really add that extra tone setter by backing them up with a sack, that's the cherry on top of that three and out. The Patriots punt team coming out with former sixth rounder Bryce Beringer to do the honors. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. Takes it in at the 26, and they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So here come the 49ers for their opening drive. And bringing them out, you cannot call him irrelevant ever again. Took his team to the Super Bowl last year. It's Brock Purdy. You know, Kate, people won't stop recognizing Brock Purdy as Mr. Irrelevant right at first, but they better start recognizing his game. He shed that label of his draft status to me long ago. He proved there is no fluke to his talent. He knows how to see it, how to feel it, how to deliver it, and most importantly, he knows how to elevate the people around him. Pretty throwing here on first. Reeled in by George Kittle. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And that's a 49er first down. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. One play in, and already they're close to midfield. First down throw by Purdy. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. 
Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. So that brings up second down. Timing is everything in life, and timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. Purdy now on second and 10. And that throw finds Kittle. And he's across midfield into Patriot territory. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can hum in there and there's nothing this defense can do. Third and four coming up now. To throw again, it's Purdy. Complete beyond the marker. And he's marked down, looks like, at the 32-yard line. They get 13 on the pickup. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Here's the long back on the handoff. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. So through one, this game, more for you defensive maestros out there. Couple of zeros on the board right now. Back to Levi Stadium right after this. We're back, and it's 49ers football as we resume. They'll have second down as they look to continue this good drive. Working out of the gun, it's Purdy. He'll get this complete to Jennings. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. Give him 13 on that play. And that's a 49er first down. Move the chain! Gotta move the chain! Spill momentum and keep that defense on its heels. They'll run here on first down. And he has this one down to the 8-yard line. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know and you may come back to because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of a defense. From the gun is Purdy. Got it. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. It's a six-yard gain that sets up first and goal. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Oh, fullback's got it. Look at the power. And he'll get this across. Touchdown, San Francisco. The 49ers get the game's first points here in the second. For the offense, you got to love it, Brock. Points to begin the game as he runs it in for an opening drive touchdown. And you've got one very happy running back right over there on the sideline right now. These backs, they do feel the pressure to find the end zone every single week. It's not easy to do. But to do it this early and get out of the way, big time. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. to kick it away. Here's Moody. Antonio Gibson now to return it. Find some space. He's past the 30. His return gets him to the 32-yard line before he's taken down. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Operating from the gun, Brissett. Escapes out to the left. He's keeping it. And he's able to move it past the 45 before going out. He picks up 15 on the play. And that's a New England first down. That is so demoralizing for a defense. You lock things down in coverage. You do everything right on the back end. Only to see the quarterback escape, evade the pressure, and get that first down anyway. Ugh. 
great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. On first down, it's Brissett. Looking right, and he finds him. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. And he just tucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a throw or force something. It brings up second down. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Second down. Here's Brissett again. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Third down. It's Brissett. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Talanoa Hufanga makes the play. Finds a seat. Left side. He's off to the races. And forget the interception. He makes this a pick six touchdown. That play, Brock, that play was beautiful. Not just making the interception, but then seeing the return slowly come together in front of him as he took it all the way to the house. Yeah, I think even for us up here in the booth, it looked like a scene out of a movie, didn't it? Starts running <laughs> yep. the back, scans the field for a lane, then mm -hmm. the blocks come just in the nick of time to wipe out the would-be tacklers, and he's got open space and nothing but the end zone in front of him. On his Moody for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. at redemption after that pick six as it's sent away. Fielded at the seven. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. The Patriots back on offense late in the first half. And we're down inside a minute to play in the half, but that's enough time to get a drive together. First and ten now from the 30. Brissett back to the air after the pick. Fires over the middle. Caught. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Brissett with it on first. That pass complete to Osborne. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Now we're going to have a timeout by New England. It's second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Going play action here. Brissett. And he just got it away before the hit, but the pass winds up incomplete. It's going to be third down. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. To the air yet again, Brissett. He's going to try to drop it in deep. He's got it inside the 10. And he scores. It's a New England touchdown. The Patriots make it a one-score game before halftime. 
So no mistaking that play call, Brock. They send nope. everybody on deep goes, and it winds up paying off. What a play. And you think on the other side, defensively, they'd be ready for this. But this is truly a breakdown in the secondary. Mm -hmm. They're just not able to make a play on the ball in the air. And the end result, as you said, a big play and a touchdown. Joey Sly on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. And just like that, we're back to a one possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Return coming from the six. He's got a lane up past the 30. They'll take over at the 39 yard line. Nice return there. Second drive coming up for this 49ers offensive unit. And with all their timeouts remaining, Brock, they may be able to put a little something together here before halftime. Purdy on first down. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Shotgun snap for Purdy. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he made a bid from infield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve, some call it automatic, but it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40-yard line. Now the offense going to take its third and final timeout. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Still sticking with the passing game. Tight end cut across the middle. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a gain of 27 yards to move the chains. So we're halfway through this contest from Santa Clara, California. The hometown 49ers out in front. Now we'll toss things to Jonathan Coachman in our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got? All right, Kate, sit tight. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But for now, this is our halftime report. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. All set for the kickoff. Sly with the honors. It's Debo Samuel with the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. We'll see the San Francisco offense first this half as they're headed out now. And they really lean on that passing game in the first half, Bronk. Let's see if that emphasis continues to start the third. Purdy setting up that play action. That finds you complete. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Big gain, 14 on the play. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for short yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. Pretty throwing here on first. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. Well, that throw, Kate, pretty clean out of his hand. Just looked like it didn't get through the defense clean enough. Somebody tips it away and saves a potential completion. Back to the air on second. Purdy. Kittle brings it in. Decent gain here, but short of the first. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. 
His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. So it's going to be fourth and short. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And he got a little too much leg into that one. That's a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity, no doubt. This ball's coming out to the 20. This offense headed back to the field, led by their receiver. And they're coming off an excellent series throw on the football that led to that touchdown, Bronx. So you and I both expecting that defense to be looking for that on this series. Finds a man on the right side. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Not met many receivers in my life that don't love the spotlight, but you gotta earn your place there. Easy way to do it, catches just like that. Going up into double coverage and making the play anyway. No. Nope. Oh, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the 49ers. And they stop him before he gets much on the return. You're using this play to try for a first down, but also set up what's ever in your back pocket for third down. But you know what? Throw it all away. None of it matters now if you can't hang on to the doggone football. And the defense pounces on that one in a hurry. Now out comes the San Francisco offense. They didn't add to their lead last time out. They punted it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. First and 10 now from the 30. Throwing now, following the turnover. That's taken in by Samuel. And he's down inside the red zone before hitting the deck. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. Did not like what he was seeing, Brock, and he just hurls this one away. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Play action now with Purdy. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. Everybody wants to play quarterback until a play like that. Almost no resistance off the ball and the defense ready to maul you. It was all he could do to get rid of it before he gets just clocked. No better luck than the last play, Brock, as he just has to get rid of it. This is why we hear about closing speed so often when you evaluate players. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and alter that throw. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll push it to double digits in a two-possession game. You know, you look at that third down play, looking back, and it really turns into a three-point play. It's why situational work is so critical. Coaches talk about it all the time. Sure, you love the field goal, but man, they would have loved a touchdown more. Kickoff taken at the three. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Patriot offense making their return to the field. They're down 10 partway through this one. Score is 17-7. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Throwing now, Brissett. Complete out to the right. And he crosses the sideline a yard or two beyond, it looks like, the 30. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Got him in. Oh, oh he loses the football. And it's a turnover. The defense has it. And they limit the damage on the return, but it is still a turnover. A nice takeaway to end that third quarter. And they're going to have a new possession waiting to start the four. It's 49ers football. We'll see if they can close things out for a win. First down, ball at the 36. Takes the handoff, now to throw. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. 
Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Purdy now on second and ten. Gobbled up on the right side. That's Ayuk. And he's going to be brought down at the 23-yard line. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. You know, they really love that drag route because he's one of those guys that can count on not only to make the catch, but create after the catch. If they don't close on him quickly, he can add a lot of yards before someone tracks him down. They'll come up first and ten. From the gun is Purdy. Couldn't connect across the middle. It's an incomplete pass. I think we're starting to get a feel, aren't we, of why they like him so much in coverage. He reacts well to throws, is super adept at breaking up passes through contact, or like that one before they could ever reach the target. Breaks the tackle, still going. And this play reaches the 12-yard line before the stop is made. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Okay, this is why coaches across all levels of football harp on the importance of good, fundamental tackling, not just to hear themselves talk. Uh-uh, it's to make sure that when one of their guys has a chance to bring down a running back, they're able to do it and keep those plays from going any further. And they'll get him down at the 7-yard line. Halfway there on first down, that brings up second and five. A humble five to six yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain, not a game changing play by any means, but one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of that front seven. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Back to back carries here. And the defense waiting for him at the line, and he goes down. So now here's third and five. Back to the well again. And he stopped just a little short of the goal line. He's down to the two. With 1.54 remaining, the defense burns a timeout. Offense staying out there. It's fourth and one. Another carry for him. And he'll get them enough for a first down. And right away we get a timeout from the defense. 1.51 to go. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Here we go, here we go. They give it to him again. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. That's got to be so frustrating for the runner. You're fighting the good fight. He even ripped through a tackle to stay afloat. But the blocking can't buy you enough time or room to even get back to the line of scrimmage. It's second and goal. They give it to him up the middle. And he'll get this across. Touchdown, San Francisco. The 49ers can put this out of reach as they make it a 16-point lead. On is Moody for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Out 
to kick it away. Here's Moody. Return starts at the three. And he's walloped just as he gets across the 25. What a hit. He's down shy of the 30. The Patriots running their offense out there. Well, we all know at this point, turnover's the big problem for them in this game, Brock. And not surprisingly, the defense has capitalized on those mistakes on more than one occasion to their benefit. Yeah, there's a lot of things that can be tough to win football games in spite of, right? But over the test of time, turnovers are the number one thing that cost you games, especially yep. after that first one. Once there's blood in the water, you feel it with the defense. They get all over you trying to force another turnover and another and another. Here's a throw on the out route, complete. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. They've run this 12-yard out route, Kate, at the Combine, well, all the way back to last century when I had to throw it. In this throw, this is a big boy throw. This is a differentiator. Can you make that deep out throw on time, on rhythm, and accurately? Well, that was teaching tape right there. On first down, it's Brissett. Working across the field, complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Catch made, and he scores. It's a New England touchdown. The Patriots get it back to within two possessions. All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. That one splits the uprights, and they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. They'll time making this all but impossible, but they're going to try for the onside kick here anyway. And the 49ers are going to get this kick. They're going to hang on for the win. Hey, the numbers don't lie. The numbers tell you, Kate, time and again, it is so hard to recover these onside kicks. And when you got an opponent prepared for it, well, that makes it even more difficult. The San Francisco offense headed out to take over. And even after giving up the late touchdown, Brock, still a two-score game, so you should expect them to be in that victory formation in just a few moments. You should, but, you know, I just picture Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, the greats in this game, right, over the last few decades. You know, they grind it down every second, never took anything for granted. you got to finish it all the way down to double zeros. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. Lining up to take an on second down. So the 49ers earn the win in this one. And they didn't fall victim to that dreaded trap game against the lesser opponents. They were the better team coming in. They played like it to earn the convincing victory. So for Brock Heward, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time.